April 10, The Bowl of Saki by Pir Hasrat Inayath Khan When a man looks at the ocean, he can only see that part of it which comes within his range of vision, so it is with the truth. Commentary by Pir Omarshid Inayath Khan As there is water in the depths of the earth, so there is truth at the bottom of all things, false or true. In some places, one has to dig deep, in other places, only a short distance, that is the only difference. But there is no place where there is no water. One may have to dig very, very deep in order to get it, but in the depths of the earth, there is water, and in the depths of all this falsehood that is on the surface, there is truth. If we are really seeking for the truth, we shall always find it. Man with his learning becomes so proud that he thinks there is nothing else worthy of attention. He does not know that there is a perfection of wisdom before which he is not even like a drop in the ocean. Man looks at the surface of the ocean, yet he is so small that he cannot even be compared with one of its drops, limited as he is in intellect and knowledge. He seeks to find out about the whole of creation, whereas those who have touched it have bowed before God, forgetting their limited selves. After that God remained with them and spoke through them. These are the only beings who have been able to give any truth to the world. When we consider the mystics and thinkers who look at life from a spiritual point of view, they all agree, be they yogis, Sufis, Buddhists, or Christians, it does not matter which. When they arrive at a certain stage of understanding they all agree, they all have the same experiences, they all have the same realization to which they come in spite of all differences of form, those who look at the surface see variations but those who look below the surface see one and the same truth hidden beneath all religions, which have been given at different times by different masters. Naturally, therefore, the method of expression is different, but when one comes to the essence it is all one and the same, and those who are spiritually evolved come to the conclusion that they do not differ one from the other in their belief. All beliefs are simply degrees of clearness of vision. All are part of one ocean of truth. The more this is realized the easier is it to see the true relationship between all beliefs, and the wider does the vision of the one great ocean become. Limitations and boundaries are inevitable in human life, forms and conventions are natural and necessary, but they nonetheless separate humanity. It is the wise who can meet one another beyond these boundaries.